scrapping Ubla and EA to build memorial for Vajpayee on banks of Yamuna near Rajhat. The testament to Vajpayee's stature was when former Prime Minister Manmohan Singh, in a speech in the Rajya Sabha, referred to Vajpayee as the Bishma Patama of Indian politics. Loading New Delhi, honoring the immense contribution of Adil Bihari Vajpayee to Indian politics and nation-building, the National Democratic Alliance NDA, has decided to construct a separate Samadhi Kum memorial dedicated to nation's first BJP Prime Minister on the banks of Yamuna near Rajhat in New Delhi. In 2013, the Yuba government had passed a law calling for the construction of a Rashtriya Samiti or common memorial for all former Prime Ministers of India who did not have memorials of their own. The Yuba government had cited paucity of land as the reason behind the law having a common samadhi for all departed leaders. For the Vajpayee memorial to be built in New Delhi, the Yuba law will have to be overturned. Sources said the law is likely to be scrapped at the next cabinet meeting. In addition to Mahatma Gandhi's Samadhi at Rajkot, eight former prime ministers, two former presidents and two deputy PMs have memorials of their own. Jawaharlal Nehru's memorial is called Shanti Vanna, Garden of Peace, and Dira Gandhi's is called Shakti Stall, Place of Power, Lal Bahadur Shastri's is called Vijay Ghat Victory Platform, and that of Chaudhry Sharan Singh is called Kazan Ghat Farmers Ghat. The former presidents who have their own memorials are Jiani Zail Singh and Shankar Dayal Sharma, while the two former deputy PMs who have memorials in New Delhi are Jag Jivan Ram and Devi Lal. Former Prime Minister Adil Bihari Vajpayee, who served as the PM in 1996 and then from 1998 to 2004, passed away in New Delhi on Thursday. Vajpayee, who was suffering from a prolonged illness for over a decade, was 93 years old at the time of his death. Preparations for the last rites are in place. Radio communication team has been deployed. Candle materials have been brought and police deployment has been increasing by the minute. Born on Christmas Day in 1924 in Gwalior, Vajpayee's first tryst with politics came as early as Mahatma Gandhi's Quit India movement, because of which a young Vajpayee and his brother even spent time in jail. In the late 1940s, he became a full-time member of the Rashtriya Swayamswak Sang RSS, which served as the platform for his eventual entry into politics. In 1957, he was elected as a member of the second Lok Sabha from Balrampur in Uttar Pradesh. He went on to serve 10 terms as a Lok Sabha OMP and two terms in the Rajya Sabha. In 1996, Vajpayee led the BJP as it became the single largest party in the Lok Sabha. The president invited Vajpayee to form a minority government, although the government lasted only 13 days. In 1998, fresh elections were held and the Vajpayee-led National Democratic Alliance NDA, formed the government. During Vajpayee's second stint as Prime Minister, India conducted nuclear tests at Pokhran, joining a small group of nations with nuclear weapons. He also worked for peace with Pakistan and undertook a historic bus journey from Delhi to Lahore, where he was greeted by his Pakistani counterpart Nawaz Sharif. Soon, however, the peace process was interrupted as the Kargil War broke out in 1999 between India and Pakistan. In 2004, Vajpayee became the first ever non-Congress Prime Minister to complete a full term in office. In December 2005, Vajpayee announced his retirement from active politics and handed over the reins of the party to LK Advani and Pramod Mahajan. In addition to being a politician, Vajpayee was known for his poetry. Political adversaries and allies alike often praised Vajpayee for his magnanimity and the ability to reach out across the aisle to opponents. The testament to Vajpayee's stature was when former Prime Minister Manmohan Singh, in a speech in the Rajya Sabha, referred to Vajpayee as the Bishma Patama of Indian politics.